Welcome back guys. Uh, I just wanted to answer this question that I get all the time in video form so I don't have to uh, constantly keep typing the same thing. Uh, but the question I get is, hey JC, um, you showed me how to set up my flight controller and I also watched your video on how to calibrate voltage and then I watched the video on how to calibrate current. And I just happened to uh, turn on the current meter and notice that I'm getting a current reading now. I did not know that my such and such fly controller had a built-in current sensor. So, uh, but I watched your video on how to calibrate it and it's not working. Why is that? So to answer the question, on many fly controllers you will see a current reading w once you turn this on. But this does not mean that your fly controller has a current sensor. Just for example, uh, all I have right now is a seriously dodo plugged into my USB cable and I don't even have a PDB connected whatsoever. I'm just running power with a couple wires directly off my battery um, and I'm still getting this current reading. So that's how I know it's false. Whenever you purchase a flight controller, if it doesn't like specifically say it has a built-in current sensor, then it doesn't have one. Also, I mean, you should know right off the bat if it has one or not because if your main battery leads are not if there's not giant pads to solder on those really big battery leads directly to your flight controller, then it doesn't have a built-in current sensor. Also, uh, just about every single flight controller does have current pins or pads, but you can't just run a couple wires off of a PDB to those pins. Uh, I mean, you could, and it's still going to show a current reading, but that's still not how you get current in beta flight, clean flight, on screen displays, or telemetry. Now there are some PDBs that have current sensors built in and you can run those wires to the current pins. That's what they're for. Uh, you still would have to calibrate it but uh, basically what I'm saying is if your flight controller does not have a current sensor and your PDB does not have a current sensor you will get this reading but that I, I wish I had an explanation of why you get this reading no matter what but I, I don't. Um, but this reading is wrong and you cannot calibrate it no matter what you do. Uh, now there is a virtual current sensor that that you can use. I mean basically you, you can technically come down here and you can change the current sensor type from ADC to a virtual current sensor. That is if you've seen my current sensor calibration video and you think that is a headache, don't even think about a virtual current sensor. Uh, second off, it, it's not even accurate. It's not. It's You're just using a mathematical equation to guess your current. Uh, so I'm not even make, do not ask me for a video for that. I will not make that video. I have tried it and I have failed hard. So don't even think about it. It's not, it's not accurate at all. That's all I can say. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Um, so I just want you to know, if you get a current reading, don't believe it. Okay? It's, I mean, if your flight controller and PDB does not have a current sensor, because you will get this reading. But that's going to do it, guys. I just wanted to uh, let you know, and I will see you next time.